I'm so excited to finally get this video up today. This is our first makeover in the new house. We knew as soon as we moved in, the bathroom was going to be the first thing that we did because of the ceiling already being messed up from when previous owners lived here. This bathroom is going to be the main bathroom that guests get to use and it will also be my bathroom to get ready in in the mornings. So I definitely wanted to add my own personal touches to this bathroom and kind of make it my own. The first issue we had to tackle was the popcorn ceiling because there used to be a handicapped person that actually lived in this home and they had to have a contraption to get him in and out of the bathtub. So that messed the popcorn ceiling up that was in the bathroom and we definitely had to fix that. So that started the whole process of me starting to scrape off the popcorn ceiling. Before anyone starts coming at me for how I had to do this video, I was in the process of getting ready to go back to work and I wanted to have this done within that last week before I went back. But of course, like the whole summer went, Barrett ended up being sick, so I had to work on the bathroom in between his naps, which if you have a toddler, then you, you know how hard that can be. Um, the popcorn ceiling had to go. There was a spot on the roof right there where there was a guy that lived here who used to be handicapped and they had to get him in and out of the bathtub. So it messed the popcorn ceiling up up there. You can kind of tell the color difference, but anyway. So I went ahead and scraped the rest off. My dad came yesterday to mud it and then he mudded like certain spots on the wall where there were holes because he's nitpicky. My plan is with this to paint it green. I'm gonna end up doing the walls like off white, but just thought I'd give a little update on the ceiling. That's the first coat of mud. He's gotta do it one more time and then I have to sand it. Okay, so I officially got two coats on the ceiling done. So now we're moving on to painting. I guess I'm gonna paint the walls first. I did not realize until watching this video how many outfit changes that I actually had throughout this process. Like I said, this whole bathroom makeover took place while my son was at home he was sick we don't really know what was wrong with him he got tested for everything under the sun COVID RSV strep flu the whole nine yards but anyway he ended up being home with me the whole week so I had to work in between naps and since he's two he only naps about one time a day for maybe one to two hours so I was very very limited on the time I had So this shelf was one of my favorite things that I added to the bathroom. I actually got this from Hobby Lobby. I ordered it on their website. It was regular about $55 I think and I paid about $30 for it with a coupon so I will definitely add that in my description box down below and be sure to check anything out in the description box. I will be listing everything that I use there.
So this vanity on the doors, it actually has the hidden hinges and you can kind of see it in the one behind me. I took it off and realized that I should not have taken it off the door and I should have taken it off the actual vanity. So I literally had to screw it back on right there and then take it off the actual vanity. So lesson learned and you always make mistakes and just learn from them as you go. So I had a really hard time trying to decide between green or blue for in here and it really just came down to the fact that we already had the green paint. I'm impatient and I didn't want to spend any more money so I just stuck with the green. We actually ended up using this green in our entryway to paint the bottom half of the wall that had a brown paper stack type of material over it. So it all ended up just working out and I really do love this green color so I definitely don't regret just sticking with the green. Normally I would have taken these doors outside and just painted them like on a bucket or something but since Bear was inside napping I just went ahead and stayed in the bathroom while he was in down the hallway 
I didn't want to just go outside and then him wake up. So I know it looks really funny that I'm just painting on a toilet, but my options were very limited. Okay, so at this point, I really want you to just comment how many outfit changes you really think I had during this whole process because it is tickling me how many times I'm in a different shirt or a different outfit throughout this one video. If you are new here and you do not know our backstory, I'm a mom to a two-year-old boy. We just bought this house in June and we could not move in until the middle of July. So this was literally within a week or two of us moving in. And I'm also a teacher, so I was going to be going back to work. And Barrett's birthday is also in like the second week of August. So I was trying to hurry up and get this bathroom done before his party because I was just going to do a family party at the house which if you have not seen that vlog, it is actually already up on my channel because I wanted to go ahead and get that up the day of his party and mainly because I just have not had time to actually sit and do this voiceover because I did not get this video edited until I had already started work, which has been crazy. If you have made it to the end of this video, I just would like to say thank you, thank you, thank you for sticking the video out with me until the end. That way you could see how this all ended up turning out. I would also like to thank all of my subscribers who were already subscribed for being so patient with me throughout the summer and for videos like this. I did not put a lot of videos out at all during the summer and I really wanted to, but Barrett just stayed sick all the time. And luckily, knock on wood, since I've been back at work, he has not been sick anymore, which is really odd, but anyway. 
I could not be any more excited about how this bathroom makeover ended up coming out. I knew what I wanted in my head and I was so glad to see it come to life. If you like videos like this, please be sure to subscribe to my channel. I will be having a living room makeover eventually coming up. The wall in our living room is actually buckling. So we have a whole like tearing out wall of the living room we're going to have to do. Not a full wall, but anyway. You will see in the videos to come. So if you like home makeovers, family vlogs, be sure to subscribe. It would really help out my channel. And I will see you guys soon. Thanks.